on se retrouve pour l'épisode 7, euh, donc euh, on va essayer plus glorieusement de, de franchir. Euh... Alors, euh, ouais, mais je sais plus là. là. Voilà. Je me demande si ça fait diversion, diversion, ou si c'est c'est une des diversions possibles. Oh non, pas là. C'est pas celle-là. Ah putain, mais ça nous emmène... Oui, c'est une des diversions possibles. Il y a un truc là ou pas Le mec qui peut pas s'empêcher de fouiner. <rire> ah, bah d'ailleurs j'avais laissé ma tronche. Docteur, est-ce que c'est toi Ne vous inquiétez pas du docteur. machine. Ça nous donne temps de get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me. Like it found me here. Je sais pas si je viens faire rentrer là. Beast. Don't stay with me. Or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from myself. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? Well, the doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't okay. want him. Okay. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her cursed paintings. C'est ce qu'on avait qu'à comprendre. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> The one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> But she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! Oh, yeah. Psychomantis, quand on disait Metal Gear, je t'ai Il a rien à examiner ou quoi que ce soit dans le coin. C'est Qu'est-ce Je sais pas si je perds mon temps ou quoi que ce soit, mais je préfère vraiment essayer de te regarder, même si c'est signifier ma perte. On ferme. 
Oh putain. <rire> J'en viens à flipper, c'est fou. Damn. La bonne vieille pression psychologique. Yes. Putain. <rire> bon bah du coup euh... <rire> on va continuer un peu le chapitre on va faire un peu de chapitre 6 parce que sinon ça fait vraiment une vidéo trop courte <rire> oh la vache j'ai flippé comme pas possible à cause de ce connerie de gaz vache <rire> là je pense qu'ils ont réussi leur coup la vache ça m'a vraiment surpris. Allez. Céphalopode tentacule. Who goes there? That nightmare again. Ah, on est au manoir. Ils m'ont ramené au manoir Hawkins. Euh, du coup, est-ce que j'ai débloqué des... Oui, j'ai un... 3 points de compétence. Bah, du coup, bam, on va avoir l'éloquence augmentée. Et on va peut-être augmenter... On va augmenter un peu la force. Ça me paraît essentiel. Ah oui, mais du coup... Ah Ah euh... Santé mentale. La mort de Francis Sanders. Je vous laisse mettre pause. 1, 2, 3. Voilà. Bon, on n'a pas débloqué grand chose entre ma mon tour. Hein. Ensuite, en Darkwater, on a débloqué Francis Sanders. Décédé. <rire> Décédé Sarah et Simon aussi. Merci. Et en lieu, on avait le sous-sol de l'Institut Riverside. Et à... Ah. On a dit qu'il n'y avait pas grand chose dans le chapitre 5. Ou alors c'est moi qui n'ai pas découvert grand chose, mais c'est possible aussi. Euh, L'histoire de la médecine et le brevier de la santé. Okay. Je check à nouveau les tables, hein, on ne sait jamais. Non. Je veux savoir ce que Bradley et Dr. Colton ont à dire sur tout ça. Non. Je veux savoir ce que Bradley et Dr. Colton ont à dire sur tout ça. Toujours pas de bouquin là. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you oh ouais, attends. Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. Oh ouais. L'abus d'alcool est dangereux pour la santé, les enfants. Hein. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things... I can't explain. Tell us, what happened? Ah, <sighs> dommage. <laughs> I have flashbacks. They haunt me. 
What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? No. Oh, I thought I loved you. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the business at hand. Pas de psychologie suffisamment. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I... Uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then, I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I heard you talking. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? I get the impression. Intrusive, anyway. Not so much, but. Euh, il y avait autre chose. Ah oui, non, mais j'ai pas suffisamment de. Euh... Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kinds. Yes, I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening. Du coup, on va se le refaire. Je suis désolé. Dr. Fuller seems to be le... Not to mention euh... those strange machines. Yes. I've been telling you that... What I saw was more akin to torture than... Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. F... It's the truth, Ethan. I'm listening, Mr. Peart. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Il a jamais un score suffisant en investigation. Yeah. Euh, du coup, là, je peux plus rien faire. Et du coup, j'ai peut-être cette rumeur. I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course, he's a patient. 
or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. I'll do my best. <rire> ok. Alors. Top. Et donc le docteur Fuller. Pas le docteur Fuller. Voilà. Ah, Peut-être que vous voulez mettre sur pause pour lire. Voilà. 1, 2, 3. Hop, c'était suffisant pour mettre pause. Au pire, vous faites mar vous faites retour et puis ça ira bien. Euh... Et donc, on se dirige vers la maison des Sanders. Euh, Est-ce que c'est la maison du colonel Désolé pour la blague de merde. Et... <rire> euh... Putain, la vache. <rire> Entre mon état de fatigue et du coup le fait que j'ai sursauté tout à l'heure avec le gaz et puis... Oh. Oh non. <rire> gaz, tu vois, voilà, bref. <rire> C'était la blague des trois points, but oui. Euh... Non, c'est trop tôt pour couper la vidéo là-dessus. <rire> euh, du coup, je vais aller un peu plus loin. Hein. De toute façon, vu que je suis pas monétisable, bah les couilles. Comme on dit dans le jargon. Euh, je m'excuse tout à l'heure si vous avez entendu la porte s'ouvrir également. On m'a apporté deux, trois trucs à ranger. Hop. Je me tais. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders? I'm a private detective. You must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. Oh, and you're a You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death? Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well... Since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. 
Non, je peux pas explorer sa baraque avant. Oh, en vrai. <rire> May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Mm. Don't. <laughs> Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? This accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Uh... Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else? to paint such horrors. Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit, because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. C'est le moment de fouiller partout. Did she really care for him after all? Très chère madame, j'ai bien reçu votre missive dans laquelle vous réclamiez le corps de votre défunt mari. Je suis au regret de vous annoncer que je ne puis consentir à vous remettre sa dépouille. Vous avez signé lors de son internement une décharge autorisant à disposer de son corps de la façon dont je jugerai le plus, la plus appropriée. Veuillez recevoir madame mes plus sincères condoléances. Thomas Fuller. Okay. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Did it push in this? Mm-hmm. Attends. Bon. Yep. Pas le choix. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Uh, ah. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. <laughs> Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? J'avoue. A house of artists. Euh, 
n'y a rien d'autre qu'on puisse examiner. Si, ici. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Alors, en psychologie. If he first refused to sell the painting, how did that make her feel? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Non, je pense plutôt que l'œuvre lui plaisait pas. Chandler, I need to see it. <rire> Alors, art et mysticisme, les objets perdus, est un recueil écrit par Francis Sanders, il, il y compile et classifie les objets de toutes les époques et origines, il y a des pratiques occultes ou, ou mystiques, il est ouvert à la page d'une dague ornée d'un symbole qui n'est pas inconnu, puisque c'est celui qu'on a vu dans sa cellule. Le pif gagnant, quoi. Putain, encore. Pif gagnant a encore frappé. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Oh oh oh, la tête de de Ward Philip Lovecraft. Et je sens que ça me rappelle euh, la nouvelle euh, avec les voix dans les tubes. Bon, c'était pas ce que je pensais. Ah. Euh... Y'a pas moyen de l'enlever Non, c'est qu'il doit y en avoir d'autres à trouver. Potentiellement. Pas le bouquin. Là, on est dans le hall d'entrée. L'armoire, on peut rien y faire. Ok, donc je pense qu'on a tout fait ici, qu'il faut avancer. Euh, J'ai essayé d'ouvrir la porte là, je sais plus. Oui, c'était celle qui était fermée. Euh, du coup, celle-là, est-ce qu'elle est ouverte Non plus. Est-ce qu'on peut reparler à la Miss... Non. Non. Là, c'est dans le bureau de machin. A strange Amerindian pendant. Moi. Les somnifères, encore et toujours. La baleine et la morue. Prévue histoire de l'île de Darkwater par Erwan Greenmouth. Elle est centrée sur la, la gloire passée de l'île. Ok. Il va y avoir d'autres choses. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. 
and finally give it away for nothing. Très cher Francis, je vous supplie d'abandonner tout espoir d'obtenir un jour cette toile molite. Si notre amitié compte un temps soit peu à vos yeux, épargnez-moi le poids de la culpabilité. Je ne peux être l'architecte de votre chute. Je vous en supplie, mon très cher ami, oubliez le vagabond, votre ami Sarah Hawkins. Un old diary. Ce volume s'attarde sur la communauté de Reverend Wickwood, son épouse exprime son inquiétude concernant les étranges rêves que font les oreilles, les oreilles du Reverend depuis leur arrivée sur l'île. Certains membres de leur communauté sont mariés inclus, commencent à parler de leur vision d'une entité considérée comme un envoyé de Dieu, elle craint qu'ils ne subissent le même sort que la tribu disparue. Alors, il y a un truc ici. de la galerie Sanders. Un bouquin. Oui, je vais lire. <rire> Malus Bestiar en volume 2. C'est une sorte d'encyclopédie de créatures monstrueuses et inconnues. Je commence à croire qu'elles existent. Mm -hmm. Très bien, on va augmenter un peu la force. Et notre cultisme est passé à professionnel. Santé mentale, on a découvert le Maleus Bestiarum. Dark Water, donc on a Irene Sanders. Je vous laisse mettre pause. 1, 2, 3 et. Du coup, le vagabond dimensionnel. Euh, le vagabond dimensionnel, je vous laisse mettre pause aussi. 1, 2, 3. Et le Maleus Bestiarum, je vous laisse également euh, mettre pause. 1, 2, 3. Les indices du chapitre 6, la lettre de refus qu'on a déjà lu, la photographie de Sanders et de Sarah Hawkins, euh, la reconstitution de Shelley. Euh, Sander, si vous voulez me lire, mettez pause, hein, comme d'hab. Euh, la lettre de Sarah Hawkins et euh, Art et Mysticisme. Et il nous reste dans l'inventaire la clé de la galerie et le stylindre de Francis. On va discuter avec elle. Je vais vous parler de ça. 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 Je vais Uh, I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. <laughs> if the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Uh, I found this drawing of a dagger. Did you come across anything like it in your reading? Perhaps. I saw several daggers in the ledgers. I could always check. What I didn't find, however, was the slightest reason why I should help you, detective. I don't need your services. I can manage all of my own things. <laughs> Do it then. Yeah, comme d'habitude. Euh, rien d'autre Ah. Mémoire sur la question anatomique. Ça doit bien augmenter, oui, c'est ça, un peu de euh, médecine légale. On va laisser ouvert ici. Euh... On peut continuer. Pas maintenant, sweetheart. Je voudrais lire ça sans avoir un regard snoop sur mon dos. Allez faire un hike, détective. Ok, ok. okay. Euh, du coup. La fameuse galerie d'art. Hey, pourquoi tu fais ça <rire> Oh Ok. C'est juste stressant. 
est-ce que tu vois d'autres points Oui, ici. Il y a la These belle. artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Mais ouais, mais tu, tu vois pas la dague Ah, il y en a une autre là-dedans. Des dagues un peu partout en fait. Hmm. Il est juste fait. Mm -hmm. Ok. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Ok. Ok, je vois où est le vagabond, donc on va pas y aller tout de suite. Euh... The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. The public entrance to the gallery. Why was he so interested in old weapons? J'avoue. Mais ça a du style, hein, ça a de la gueule. Sa collection, elle a quand même de la gueule. Oui, j'ai pu recharger ma lampe. Parfait. Oui, non, mais tu veux pas Ok. On va se cacher dedans. Hum. <rire> Arrêtons les conneries. Tu veux quand même pas que. Non, t'es es gentil, tu n'utilises pas la langue. D'ailleurs, voilà. Hein. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Et sur celle-là, il dit rien. C'est bugué. Mm. 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 Bon. C'est bugué. Les statues ont l'air de rien le dire. Le meuble, je peux rien checker dedans. Allez, go. Il n'y a rien derrière. Ah ah Faut qu'il y ait une blague. Si elle est pas dans les dans une des vitrines quand même. Bon, elle est pas dans celle là. Non plus. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Ça c'est pour l'encre. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Il est toujours la même chose. Et du coup, il veut toujours pas me dire pour le tuto ici. Le Daglan. Go. Très bien. Très bien, très bien.
On a déjà vu. What the hell was that? Voilà. Ah, c'est pas faux ouais. Ils sont où les placards Je les retrouve plus. Je retrouve plus les placards. Il n'y avait pas un par là Non, là. que je suis là bon, vous devez pas voir grand chose je m'en excuse Ah putain, ok, allez, c'est reparti, on sait ce qu'on doit faire. C'est pas de récupérer une arme. Non. Bon bah écoutez, euh, on va se laisser là-dessus parce que ça commence à m'enfler aussi. Et euh, je vous dis à bientôt pour de futures vidéos. Euh, donc ça sera probablement l'épisode 8 si je dis pas de conneries. Et donc là-dessus, je vous laisse et je vous dis à ciao, bye bye. Ciao, bye bye.